خو كي فري بودي تدي وي ارجاون تبي اي بريزنتيشن تدي بيكوز اي وون تجت ثيز وون فروم ماي هاوس او يس وي ار انت ثيزيز كون تبي اي نيو بريزيدنت فر نيو من فري فر بيكوز اي وون تكت ثيز وون نو كيسر ات ويل بي اي نيو بريزنتيشن ويل كامز نيو تذا وايت هاوس بوف سو اس يور نيم My name is Maya, and today we will be taking a presentation. Now, I can enjoy your show. Hi. Nice to meet you, everyone. My name is Maya, and today we will be taking a look at the Wikipedia today. Oh, yes, we are. Now, we will talk about Martin Luther King Jr. because we are going to talk to one Martin Luther King Jr., born Michael King Jr., January 15, 1929. April 4, 1968, was an African-American minister and activist who became the most visible spokesperson and leader in the civil rights movement from 1955 until his assassination in 1968. King is best known for advancing civil rights through nonviolence and civil disobedience, inspired by his Christian beliefs and the nonviolent activism of Mahatma Gandhi. And in 1964, mailed King a threatening anonymous letter which he interpreted as an attempt to make him commit suicide. King was planning a national occupation of Washington, D.C., to be called the Poor People's Campaign, when he was assassinated on April 4th in Memphis, Tennessee. His death was followed by riots in many U.S. cities. Allegations that James Earl Ray, the man convicted of killing King, had been framed or acted in concert with government agents persisted for decades after the shooting. King was posthumously awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom and the Congressional Gold Medal. Martin Luther King Jr. Day was established as a holiday in cities and states throughout the United States beginning in 1971. The holiday was enacted at the federal level by legislation signed by President Ronald Reagan in 1986. Hundreds of streets in the U.S. have been renamed in his honor, and a county in Washington was rededicated for him. The Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial on the National Mall in Washington, D.C., was dedicated in 2011. Why did you mean about you because he is the president of Martin Luther King? That he accept the presentations? Shut up, we are talking about Martin Luther King. Be quiet. All right, then let's do it. King was born Michael King Jr. on January 15, 1929, in Atlanta, Georgia. The second of three children to the Reverend Michael King Sr. and Alberta King, nay Williams. King's mother named him Michael, which was entered onto the birth certificate by the attending physician. King Sr. stated that Michael was a mistake by the physician. At his childhood home, King and his two siblings would read aloud biblical scriptures instructed by their father. After dinners there, King's grandmother Jenny, who he affectionately referred to as Mama, King's father would regularly use whippings to discipline his children. At times, King Sr. would also have his children whip each other. In his adolescent years, he initially felt resentment against whites due to the racial humiliation that he, his family, and his neighbors often had to endure in the segregated South. In 1942, when King was 13 years old, he became the youngest assistant manager of a newspaper delivery station for the Atlanta Journal. The high school was the only one in the city for African-American students. It had been formed after local black leaders including King's grandfather, Williams. King became known for his public speaking ability and was part of the school's debate team. During King's junior year in high school, Morehouse College, a respected historically black college, announced that it would accept any high school juniors who could pass its entrance exam. At that time, Many students had abandoned further studies to enlist in World War II. Yes, I know that. I don't care about destroying blades now, shoot up. Let's do that, baby, and serve humanity. He says yes, if you want to say that I was a drum major. Say that I was a drum major for justice. Say that I was a drum major for peace. I was a drum major for righteousness. And all of the other shallow things will not matter. I won't have any money to leave behind. I won't have the fine and luxurious things of life to leave behind. But I just want to leave a committed life behind. King is remembered as a martyr by the Episcopal Church in the United States of America with an annual feast day on the anniversary of his death, April 4, 1968.
The Evangelical Lutheran Church in America commemorates King liturgically on the anniversary of his birth, January 15, 1929. On June 25, 2019, the New York Times Magazine listed Martin Luther King Jr. among hundreds of artists whose material was reportedly destroyed in the 2008 Universal Studios fire. FBI Director J. Edgar Hoover personally ordered surveillance of King, with the intent to undermine his power as a civil rights leader. The Church Committee, a 1975 investigation by the U.S. Congress, found that, from December 1963 until his death in 1968, Martin Luther King Jr. was the target of an intensive campaign by the Federal Bureau of Investigation to neutralize him as an effective civil rights leader. We are so sorry about Martin Luther King Jr. because he died in April 4, 1968. <laughs> I don't want to take it with Luther King died, and now let's go home. Buf I am so tired from all night. The clock is this way, clock am. And let's go to the another computer. Now we can to go home or computer because we took a many weeks longer than that. And we will talk about us. Okay, okay, fine. Let's do it now. In the fall of 1963, the FBI received authorization from Attorney General Robert F. Kennedy to proceed with wiretapping of King's phone lines, purportedly due to his association with Stanley Levison. The Bureau informed President John F. Kennedy. He and his brother unsuccessfully tried to persuade King to dissociate himself from Levison, a New York lawyer who had been involved with Communist Party USA. Boof I am so tired from all night because I am only on my own. And that look is this a clock am. And let's go back home and come my president. Okay Ryan you can become my president now and enjoy your president. Thanks Ryan. Now I am going to become my president today because I want to get president. Good boy Ryan. You have completed the presentation forever for you. We'll thank you to everyone. Okay, and let's do it then. Fariz, Hoover had been suspicious of potential influence of communists in social movements such as labor unions and civil rights. Hoover directed the FBI tracking in 1957 and the SQQ when it was established. Due to the relationship between Ken and Stanley Levison, the FBI fed Levison was working as an agent of influence over Ken, in spite of its own reports in 1963 that Levison had left the party and was no longer associated in business dealings with him. Another Ken Lieutenant, Jaco Dill. Was also linked to the communist party base who went money before the House of Marcus American Activities Committee, who act. Despite the extensive surveillance conducted, by 1976, the FBI had acknowledged that it had not obtained any evidence that Ken himself or the Skilk were actually involved with any communist organizations. Well, congratulations, Ryan. You have a sticker because you have completed the presentations of your life. And Ryan, you can have a new computer with super amazing performance you are. Well also you can also get a chance when it comes out. Alright then man, and this is the best day of my life. Thanks of the watch, you help of join, goodbye.